held a what time? Members of the secret club of radical transparency. I don't think I'm allowed to talk about that. Oh. Because it is. <laughs> okay, yeah, please don't. But could you lay out this a bit more? What are the type of things that you've done, and perhaps with some examples too for the audience? Sure. I think the biggest attack and the one that we are most proud of is the hack of the railway systems. It was very effective. It was a very difficult operation, even considering that the Belarusian regime used very old um, software. But what I found is that every user, image, video, and person file also had a hidden sequential ID. What we were able to retrieve from this video is 17 pictures of the of this rocket, and since we understand exactly where this camera stands in 3D space, we can also measure its length and its speed. So because of that work, we were able to determine that um, the missile is sea launched, and our colleagues from Truthhounds um, managed to identify within the range of this missile the only ship that was there, which then they all, even in their report, mentioned their captains and the crew who basically committed this war crime. So TikTok collects data at every, at every point, at every entry point. The second that you open the app, how long you're on the app, down in the microsecond. How long you're watching a video, how long, how long you take to pause watching a video, down to the microsecond, like down to the fractions of a second. And it, that's how it, that, that, and it learns so much about you based on just this. They, they're able to learn essentially who you are, what your interests are, what your politics are, how old you are, where you're from, uh, what languages you speak, and uh, what, you know, whether you like cats or dogs, based on your interactions with the content coming through there on fractions of a second, right? <laughs> 